ladies and gentlemen, the Elite Championship will be on the line inside the most devastating structure known to man. These six superstars are going to put their bodies on the line for the Elite Championship. The target on Kenny Omega is that. Kenny Omega definitely doesn't have any points in this matchup, Brad. He's getting the hell beat out of him. Alistair Black and Brooke White absolutely dominating the field. Oh, what I mean by Kenny Omega! Kenny Omega is just getting obliterated by the way from Alistair Black and Brooke White are beating the this has been an absolute war, Brad. I don't know how much more I can take. This has got to be the most insane matchup in UBT history that we are witnessing here tonight, Brad.
What's good everyone? Welcome live to MDT Vindication episode number 16. It is so good to be back with you. Brad is not with me here today. Of course, you will see him on commentary next to me, but he is not here. This is just a stunt double that is not going to be talking during this show, I guess, because Brad, we have a set pack show for you guys tonight. And tonight we are starting things off with our MDT Live general manager coming to the ring. You guys can see the table. We're going to find out what the hell Eric Bischoff has to say as he makes his way to the ring. Now, Brad, let's find out what Eric Bischoff has to say for us here to get started with episode 16 of Vindication. Making his way to the ring, the general manager of MDT Live, Eric Bischoff. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I am quite excited to find out what Eric Bischoff is going to say to us here tonight. He seems to be pretty enthusiastic following the Hell's Gate show. I'm excited to see what we got underneath this cloth. I'm going to find out along with you guys. Let's find out what GM Eric Bischoff has to say. And he's over here from, from the pink brand, which is very interesting. What an absolute bombshell delivered by Eric Bischoff. The Revolutionary Championship will have a new champion here tonight. And the Vindication Money on the Bank is live at My Damn Nation. What an action-packed night.
is good, everybody? It is straight from My Damn Toys here, letting you guys know to please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We put a ton of effort into this video. It took me over 24 straight hours of sitting here editing, so a like would be greatly appreciated. I would really thank you so very much. Enjoy the rest of the show. Welcome back live, ladies and gentlemen. We are set for our first matchup for this Revolutionary Championship Tournament. Shinsuke Nakamura and Aleister Black going one-on-one. -on -one. They had tons of iffies inside the chamber. Aleister Black even eliminated Shinsuke Nakamura. How will he fare against Black here tonight? Making his way to the ring from Kyoto, Japan, weighing at 229 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. Now Shinsuke Nakamura had a pretty fair fight inside that Elite Championship Elimination Chamber matchup at Hell's Gate. He put in a solid effort earning him this right tonight to fight Aleister Black for a shot at the Revolutionary Championship in tonight's main event. He was eliminated by Aleister Black, one of two victims of Aleister Black's Black Mask, which has been absolutely spreading terror across the entire roster. Paired with the Wyatt Colt and Bray Wyatt, Aleister Black and his kicks and offense are very deadly here on Vindication Brat. And I'm sure we'll see that on display here tonight as Shinsuke Nakamura makes his way to the ring. I can't wait to see Shinsuke and Aleister Black tie up in the middle of the ring. We are set for a great matchup. And who is going to go on to the main event to face either Bray Wyatt or AJ Styles tonight? Let's find out together. And there's Bray Wyatt, Brad, you know, I guess he's going to be at ringside for this Aleister Black matchup. But one thing you got to consider when you're coming into this matchup, what if Aleister Black and Bray, Bo uh, Bray both win their matchups? I mean, they're going to be in the main event for the Revolutionary Championship. How will that fare between the two? Would that cause issues? Would it be sort of a, 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 man, a gentleman's matchup there for the championship? How would that go? I have no idea. Making his way to the ring from the Netherlands, weighing in at 215 pounds, Alistair Black! That entrance is absolutely a thing of beauty here on the blue brand for Vindication and Aleister Black coming down for his qualifier with Shinsuke Nakamura. Aleister Black had to be one of the MVPs of the Elite Championship Elimination Chamber, Brad. I mean, this guy came in, he eliminated Shinsuke, he eliminated AJ Styles, and you gotta think that's gotta be on the mind of Shinsuke Nakamura. I've gotta evade that Black Mask. If I take that Black Mask, it's probably gonna be a one-hit KO. I don't think I've seen anyone kick out of it just yet, and the Black Mask has been just eliminating folks on the daily here on Vindication. Indication. So this is a very important matchup for both men. They could possibly capture their first championship in MDT here tonight. And we're going to have a brand new champion regardless of who it is. It will be brand new since Marty Skrull was our last champion. I'm excited. Alistair Black, Shinsuke Nakamura, who would not be hyped for this epic clash we're about to get here tonight on Vindication. And we are off, Brad, in this Revolutionary Championship first round matchup. Shinsuke Nakamura and Aleister Black. As it looks like Shinsuke Nakamura is kind of toying with Aleister Black here, getting in the mental game of Aleister Black. I don't know if that's a good idea on the part of Shinsuke Nakamura. Aleister Black does not look too enthused with this idea as Shinsuke Nakamura places his hands on the face of Aleister Black. I, I, I mean, he's got more guts than I do, Brad, as Shinsuke Nakamura seems to be taunting Aleister Black here.
Oh, now Alistair Black going for the Black Mask, but he comes up short. Now Shinsuke Nakamura going right at Alistair Black. I guess Shinsuke Nakamura trying to just bait Alistair Black into a Black Mask to set him up now. And now Shinsuke Nakamura getting in some good offense. Oh, we may have a Kinshasa early here as all Alistair Black ducks out of the way. Shinsuke Nakamura had a strategy coming into this one, Brad. Very nice here. As, oh, Alistair Black stomping on the hand of Shinsuke. What, what a great maneuver by Shinsuke. It didn't quite pan out for him, but you like to see the plans come in as Alistair Black kicks Shinsuke right between the freaking eyes there. And he takes him out with a kick. And now Alistair Black going high risk already in this matchup as he comes down with a moonsault onto Shinsuke Nakamura to the outside. Very high-paced matchup starting off. Shinsuke Nakamura in a pure situation as the kicks from Alistair Black. These are lethal kicks, Brad. You do not want to see these when you step in the ring with Alistair Black. But they're almost just absolutely unavoidable as the back elbow straight into the skull of Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura does not look good against Aleister Black. It's as if Aleister Black just has Shinsuke's number here in the matchup. But, oh, he's trying to fight back here. It's an elbow to the skull. A kick to the face. Shinsuke Nakamura building up some momentum now. Shinsuke with another kick to the midsection. Oh, and Shinsuke on fire now. Shinsuke building some momentum. A kick to the back of the skull. And Aleister Black may be unconscious. Brad Shinsuke Nakamura go over the cover here in the matchup. And Aleister Black kicks out at two. Shinsuke Nakamura could have been headed to the finals of the Revolutionary Title Tournament. Shinsuke loading up Aleister Black now into the corner. Looking for the roll away. Oh, Aleister Black quick on his feet. Coming down double knees. Very nice reversal by Aleister Black in this matchup. You have to always have your head on a swivel. Alistair Black now loading up Shinsuke Nakamura. What has he got playing here? Oh my goodness, Brad. Shinsuke Nakamura, brain buster to the brain of Shinsuke. Not a good look for Shinsuke so far tonight. When Alistair Black now laid out on the apron, Shinsuke now has him in a vulnerable situation as he brings the knees down on the sternum of Alistair Black on the hardest part of the ring with the apron. Now Aleister Black and Shinsuke doing more and a huge Spartan kick right into the turnbuckle post. What a kick. Deadly kicks by Aleister Black as he's not done, Brad. He's coming across the apron as he leaps and he just shot gun drop kicks the skull of Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura is getting obliterated by Black. This is outrageous. Alistair Black now looking to possibly put Shinsuke away. Coming off the apron with the double knees again. Oh, and Shinsuke Nakamura had it scouted this time. Brad, as he's going to... Oh, my goodness. He just throws the back and spine of Alistair Black onto that apron. The back of Alistair Black has absolutely got to be torn up after that one. I, I felt that one from here, Brad. Shinsuke Nakamura now battling with Alistair Black. Back elbow kicks. Oh, the, these guys are in sort of a... Mixed martial arts battle as it seems is blocking shots and landing shots and blocking kicks. Spinning back kick by Shinsuke. Oh, a huge knee to the temple of Alistair Black. And an overhead kick to the head again. Oh, Shinsuke coming back. He nailed the Kinshasa. That's a Kinshasa. He nailed it. Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke's going to go to the finals of the tournament. And Alistair Black powers out somehow after all of those devastating knees and kicks to the skull. I do not know how Alistair Black is conscious right now, but he is still alive in this revolutionary championship tournament. Alistair Black now trying to make it back to his feet. Shinsuke trying to put him away, it seems. Another Kinshasa on the menu for tonight for Alistair Black as here comes Shinsuke Nakamura across the ring. He's looking for the Kinshasa. Oh, looking for that Black Mass again. Oh, we saw that at Hell's Gate. Oh, oh, Shinsuke Nakamura building up with kicks to the face. Very nice ground maneuvers coming back across now. Oh, Alistair Black coming off the ropes. Moonsault off the top. Oh, and a Black Mass out of nowhere. The jaw of Shinsuke has to be broken in half. What a kick and a black mask by Alistair Black. Shinsuke Nakamura seems to be unconscious. And Shinsuke Nakamura is going to fail to Alistair Black again in the Revolutionary Championship Tournament here tonight. Alistair Black will move on to the finals where he will take on AJ Styles or Bray Wyatt. We will find out later on tonight in our second matchup. But the Revolutionary Championship could be in the sights of Alistair Black as he claims another victim in Shinsuke Nakamura to the Black Mass. What a matchup here tonight between the two men.
What is good, everybody? It is straight from My Damn Toys telling you to go over to our Twitter and Instagram pages at My Damn Toys. We really appreciate it. We post all kinds of news and background information and customs and all kinds of things regarding the channel, the pick bed, everything over on those things. So go follow us on Twitter and Instagram at My Damn Toys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vindication. I am getting word in the backstage area that Cody Rhodes has been assaulted. As we are getting a little bit of a look here, Brad, I think I have Victoria standing by with some information regarding the matter. We're going to send it over to Victoria to see what's up. Well, guys, it is time for our second matchup of our Revolutionary Championship Tournament. The first round matchup between AJ Styles taking on the man you guys just saw on your screens in Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt just was in the matchup with Aleister Black and Shinsuke. Again, this has to be reiterated. What happens if Aleister Black and Bray Wyatt both win their matchups? That's going to be something very interesting to follow here as we see AJ Styles make his way to the ring. Making his way to the ring. From Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, he is the phenomenal AJ Styles. Now, one thing I must address in this matchup with AJ Styles coming in for the Revolutionary Championship tonight, he was the first one eliminated from that chamber match at Hell's Gate. So you know he wants something to prove. He got taken out. He went for the phenomenal forearm, was laid out by a black mask in midair by Aleister Black. So I know that he has something to prove here tonight against Bray Wyatt, the leader of the Wyatt cult. So let's see if AJ Styles can get it done or will the cult prevail and us see that unfavorable matchup between Aleister Black and Bray Wyatt that could be in our futures here tonight as AJ Styles awaits Bray Wyatt. And oh my god, Bray Wyatt has a pair behind AJ Styles as he takes him out. Bray Wyatt getting the one up on AJ Styles as this match is going to start. And Bray Wyatt just like a coward coming from behind on AJ Styles. And now Bray Wyatt is wrecking havoc on AJ Styles. Much more undersized than Bray Wyatt. He's got at least a 5-6 inch advantage on AJ Styles as he is just 
throwing AJ Styles across the ring. AJ not looking good early on in his Revolutionary Championship efforts here tonight versus Bray Wyatt, the leader of the Wyatt Colt now has AJ Styles in the corner and he is just going all guns a blazing on AJ Styles in the corner with multiple knife edge chops asserting his dominance over the phenomenal one and right now Bray Wyatt is just exploiting AJ Styles after that heads up maneuver at the beginning of the matchup with a huge distance lariat clothesline into the corner and AJ Styles is roughed up right now Brad I do not know what he can do to do anything different as a face just gets crushed in the corner by the kick of Wyatt. Bray Wyatt with that sick grin on his face. AJ Styles now not in a good way. And oh, AJ Styles now. AJ Styles with a huge drop kick trying to build up some momentum for himself. AJ Styles definitely has a speed advantage over Bray Wyatt in this matchup, but he's going to have to find ways to exploit it as he comes off the ropes, coming back with a sliding phenomenal forearm. Very nice by AJ Styles. AJ now back to his feet, using that speed and agility to his advantage with the multiple kicks to the thigh. Can't even put pressure on it now as Wyatt goes down. But he comes back up with a huge, massive clothesline laying out AJ Styles. He looked like a damn helicopter. AJ Styles is definitely shaken up following that clothesline, but Bray Wyatt is not slowing down the pace whatsoever, Brad. AJ Styles trying to get back up to his feet. Here comes Wyatt across the ring. AJ Styles with the heads up, throws him out on the apron. AJ Styles doing battle now with Wyatt, trying to match strength for strength as much as he can. I don't recommend the plan, but here comes AJ Styles across with a sliding drop kick as it makes Bray Wyatt's face smack off of the apron. Very nice. And AJ Styles now trying to build up some momentum. He's got a little bit of momentum going. Can he keep it going forward as he tries to move on to the finals? As he hits the backflip off the apron, the moonsault into the backbreaker. That's the speed and agility you like to see from AJ Styles here. You're not going to be able to match the strength of Bray Wyatt. So you're going to have to find other ways to win. As a huge shot from Wyatt right there. And this is the strength we're talking about from Wyatt as he loads up AJ Styles and the Uranagi onto the apron. And he's not done with AJ as he comes back across and a huge clothesline to AJ. AJ Styles just looks like a rag doll in this matchup flying all over the arena right now, Brad. AJ Styles in a very bad way as the strength of Bray Wyatt, but all oh, the speed, the speed and the strength on display of both men, as AJ Styles with the heads up maneuver again, overhead kick, as he tosses Bray Wyatt into the turnbuckle post, I love this, this challenge of speed versus strength of both men, AJ Styles now trying to put away Wyatt, he's looking to put away Wyatt, here comes a phenomenal forearm, oh he came up empty, he came up empty and Bray Wyatt with a huge big boot to the skull, I think that might do it, AJ Styles might be unconscious Brad, Bray Wyatt celebrating in the limelight after knocking out AJ Styles. Bray Wyatt can see the end in sight. He's going to go meet his brother Aleister Black in the finals of the Revolutionary Championship Tournament. He's loading him up for Sister Abigail here. Oh, what the blue hell is this? The lights are out, Brad. What's going on? What in the hell? What's going on now? Is the stage is lit up. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. It's, oh, what the hell was that? I, am I seeing things, Brad? I don't know what's going on. Bray Wyatt completely distracted as, a, as I am. I, it kind of looks like The Undertaker on, on the screen. Oh, what the hell? It's The Undertaker. The Undertaker said, oh, AJ Styles. AJ Styles from behind. He rolled him up. And he got him. AJ Styles got him. He stole the victory. AJ Styles is going to the finals of the tournament. But where the hell's The Undertaker? Bray Wyatt completely distracted by what looked like The Undertaker. And now AJ Styles has upset Bray Wyatt and moving on to the finale. We will have AJ Styles versus Aleister Black after, after the most stunning thing I've ever seen. Congratulations to AJ Styles. What is good everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys here telling you guys to please leave us a review of the show down below. I'd really appreciate it. Any feedback, anything you like, you didn't like, you'd like to see, just anything about the show that you found intriguing or exciting or anything like that, I want to know down in the comments. Please let me know as many details as you like, you know, what you loved, what you didn't like, the matches, the moments, the things. Let me know down below, please. 
I'm getting word again, Brad, from backstage that, again, the Young Bucks now have been taken out. Two more members of the Bullet Club have been taken out. So Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks and now Marty Skrull all have been taken out. By I, I, We don't have any information on this right now, but it seems as if Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks have been attacked here tonight personally. And now, Brad, I don't... What in the blue hell is going on now as the garage door is opening in the backstage area? It's, oh, my God, it's Braun and Kane. Did Braun and Kane... Did Braun and Kane do this, Brad? Did Braun and Kane attack the Young Bucks and they're coming back for them now? For the lifeless carcasses of Matt and Nick Jackson as the security team and the and the medical professionals trying to check on them, but they, they better get the hell out of there, Brad, as now Braun and Kane are turning their attention onto the Young Bucks, and we're not sure if they've been here before or if or if this is just brand new, but they do not look happy, Brad. They you guys know they took out the Young Bucks and the Wyatt Colt at Hell's Gate, and now they are wreaking havoc on them yet again here tonight as Nick Jackson is completely helpless. Both men are, are wearing braces. They've had crutches all night, and now Braun Strowman, the monster, is now picking up Nick Jackson, and now he's going to slam him into the chair, and he puts him through the wheelchair. That wheelchair is absolutely destroyed. I don't know what to think of this, Brad. Matt and Nick Jackson are in a very bad way, and no one is there to help. Kenny Omega nowhere in sight. I do not know what the hell is going on, but Braun and Kane are taking out their anger issues, their whatever grievances they have on the Young Bucks, and they are taking it out on them right now, Brad. It's, Matt Jackson is not in a good way either as he launches him all the way across the room through the lockers as Matt Jackson and Nick Jackson have been absolutely obliterated here tonight by the monsters Braun and Kane. I don't even know what the hell to call these two right now, but they are both like two devils among hell reigning over Vindication's blue brand. That was just a sickening act. We gotta figure out who is doing this to the Bullet Club.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time. Alistair Black taking on AJ Styles for the Revolutionary Championship. Both of these men are set to win their first championship. We're going to crown a brand new champion in the history of MDT. Will it be AJ Styles or will it be Alistair Black? We're going to find out here tonight. I cannot wait for this matchup, Brad. The new Revolutionary Champion could be in our midst as AJ Styles makes his appearance. I cannot wait to see who can prevail and become their first, become their first championship here in Vindication and MDT history. Oh my God, Bray Wyatt from behind yet again on AJ Styles as he cracks him over the head. How many times can Bray Wyatt get away with this? Again, laughing in the face of AJ Styles after he cracks his skull with a lantern. Bray Wyatt from behind. The matchup has not begun, so it cannot be thrown out. And it's a championship match anyway. I don't even know how we would solve this, but Bray Wyatt is rubbing the lantern in the face of AJ Styles as he's like half conscious. AJ Styles is messed up right now after that shot to the skull. Bray Wyatt taking full advantage of the situation again for his man, Alistair Black. And now here's Alistair Black, Brad. And I'm sure that, you know, AJ Styles and Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt's very pissed off at AJ Styles for the roll-up victory. Oh, my God in heaven. The spikes of the vest of Alistair Black's vest. His entrance vest is a bloody mess now. After the face of AJ Styles just crushed into it. And AJ Styles is bleeding all over the place. AJ Styles, maybe I'll call Brad Alistair Black. Looks like he is going to claim this revolutionary championship already. Just a sickening act by the Wyatt Colt yet again as Bray Wyatt is dragging the corpse of AJ Styles into the ring. I mean, AJ Styles is completely helpless right now. Bray Wyatt and Aleister Black taking full it on advantage and trying to become the revolutionary champion. Things not going their way. And now we await the inevitable Black Mask from Aleister. Oh my God, what the hell? Oh my God. The Undertaker, what is going on on the stage, Brad? I, I see a gun, is this a, I don't know what the hell's going on. What is this paranormal activity that's taking place right now? It's like a glowing purple phenom on the stage. And Bray Wyatt and Aleister Black are completely dumbfounded as am I. I don't know what the hell's going on, but it looks like Undertaker is here again. And Bray Wyatt's going right after this, this dead man on the stage. Here comes Bray Wyatt. Oh, he completely whiffs, Brad. He completely whiffs and Undertaker's gone yet again and I think Bray Wyatt may be unconscious. I think Bray Wyatt slammed his skull on the stage, that stone cement stage, and now he's out cold. And Aleister Black now, oh my god, what's going on now? Oh my god, it's the Undertaker for real! I don't, I don't know what's going on, I don't, I don't trust any of this, I don't know what's going on, but Undertaker has Aleister Black up with a choke slam. Choke slam to Aleister Black. Undertaker is here and he has used some sort of I don't know what the hell he just used to take out Wyatt but now he is loading up Aleister Black this is exactly what we saw at Hell's Gate a tombstone pile driver taking out Black after he takes him out with a choke slam as Bray Wyatt lays unconscious and now Aleister Black follows suit he is taken out by the Undertaker the dead man has struck again and the Undertaker is out of the arena the referees, I don't even think, noticed The Undertaker. Now AJ Styles crawling back to life as he is a bloody freaking mess. Trying to get up on the apron now and crawl his way. I don't know what AJ Styles is thinking. Oh, he's coming off the top 450. He nails the 450 splash. And Aleister Black is completely done for in the middle of the ring. Multiple medical staff checking on Bray Wyatt. Here comes the cover on Aleister Black. Here comes the referee. And AJ Styles has done it! AJ Styles has done it! AJ Styles is your new revolutionary champion! After the antics from Aleister Black and Bray Wyatt, AJ Styles still overcomes the odds from the help of the dead man. Bray Wyatt and Aleister Black cannot have their, their, their plan gets interrupted by the dead man, their supposed lord, for many weeks. But now, the tables have turned and Undertaker has taken out Aleister Black and Bray Wyatt. And AJ Styles is your brand new revolutionary champion. AJ Styles was completely a bloody mess, but he's still a bloody mess, but he got it done here tonight. 
Congratulations to AJ Styles as your new Revolutionary Champion. He will defend the title at My Damn Nation. And what a phenomenal night it will be for AJ Styles as he is your new Revolutionary Champion.